So we're going to look at how we can download data from the census in order to use it for our mapping of demographics. If you launch up a web browser, you'll be able to go to the Fact Finder website of the U.S. Census. And you can see here American Fact Finder. This is going to be your source for population, housing, economic, and geographic data from census. The original fact finder is being discontinued very soon, January 20th, 2012, and what's being replaced with is this fact finder 2, which is going to have 2010 and 2000 data, which is pretty cool. So we're going to go to factfinder2.census.gov. It's supposed to be a little bit easier to use than the original fact finder, but you'll still see there's some little kinks in it. Basically, this database is very conclusive. It has a lot of data about the people of the United States. What you're able to do with this website is filter out particular aspects of the census and then download them in these custom text files that are called CSV or comma separated value text files, which are basically text files that have commas that represent columns and breaks. So then you can open it in programs like Excel. Basically we're going to make a custom CSV based off the demographic things that we want to map and then we're going to bring that into ArcMap and join it with a shape file. So I'm going to go here into my selections and you can see here your selections is empty. That's where I'm going to be able to choose what information I want to get from the census. So first I already know that I want to choose uh, a filter of geographies and I want to filter the population data based off of the census tracts in Texas. So I'm going to type here Texas and then I'm going to get here different kinds of results on um, ways to filter. So I see all counties within Texas is for some of you who might be mapping out county differences. I want to map out track differences, so I'm actually click here on census track. And then I can see here under my geographic names, all census tracks within Texas. That's what I want. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to choose add. And whenever I click on add, that's going to add to my selection here in the corner, all census tracks within Texas. So I should go ahead and close this little pop-up window that popped up. And now I can move on to topics. As I keep on choosing different data, the different filters here, this search results window is going to get smaller and smaller. So right now we have 3,785 different kinds of data sets that we can choose from. Well, now I'm going to go here and I want to choose from product type. No, actually, I don't want to choose product type. I want to choose people. And I'm going to choose here income and earnings and I'm going to choose income earnings households. This is because I want to map the median income in 2010. And I can see here on the, the fourth result here, I have median income in the past 12 months in 2010 inflation adjusted dollars. So if I check on that, I'm going to add that to one of my search results, to, to one of my downloads. One thing that I also can do is I can click on the title of the data and it's going to give me a preview of what it is. So I'm clicking here on selected e economic characteristics and when I go in here I can see a little preview that they have things like employment status, uh, different informations about how people drive to work, their occupations, um, and then their, even their income and benefits for uh, inflation adjusted dollars and so forth. Um, this this data sets may be a little too detailed for me, but you can go through and explore different ones. I can now click on back to search results and I'm going to get back to my search results and I'm just going to uncheck selected economic characteristics. I don't want that. Also like here for my median income in the past 12 months for the 2010 uh, census, I can click here on the information button and it's going to give me information on how this was collected. So this data set was collected between 2006, 2010, 
and it's an American Community Survey. And if I go through here, I can see different kinds of information. And what's going to be available. So it's pretty interesting. I'll go ahead and close that. Another information that I want to be able to map is people and I want to map race and ethnicity and I'm going to choose here race and ethnicity of householder and if I click on that I'm going to see here holder household income in the past 12 months white alone and so forth and it's going to give me actually now incomes with adjust with the race as also as a factor but for now I'm just going to choose the median income in the past 12 months and then I want to click on download I'm going to get this telling me that I'm going to get a zip file containing my selected products when I hit OK it's going to build my file so on demand the census servers now are building a text file for me. Whenever the server's finished making my files and say your file's complete, and you can see here now I can click on download, and it will actually download a zip file for me. I can see here now my zip file is downloading. Once your file is finished downloading, whenever you open it, it's going to open in Windows Explorer. And what's kind of cool is that Windows Explorer now has built in zip file capabilities, but one thing that's not cool is that whenever you open up the zip file, you think that you're looking at a normal folder, but you're actually looking at a compressed folder. So one thing that you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to click the button called Extract All Files, and it's going to extract all the files that are in that zip file. So I click on Extract All Files. I'm going to go ahead and choose to extract it onto my desktop, where I make a new folder, and I'm going to call it Lab1. And I hit OK. And what's going to happen now is going to extract all my lab, those files in my lab one folder here on the desktop. Once I extract it, one thing that you can look at now is that I can open this either in Excel, but truly I can open it also in Notepad, and you can see what a comma separated value file looks like. And you can see here that you have, for example, a field of data separated by a comma, and then the next field of data, and so forth. This, whenever I open up in Excel, looks a lot different because the commas are treated as dividers. And you can see here now divisions of your file. So that's how you will download census data.